today, guys, we are doing unit 7, angles and angle measurement. Lesson 3, 2 or more lines. So let's look at lines that cross and lines that don't. So just to refresh your memory, if I have two lines, oops, that don't break, hold on, that would technically be wrong. There we go. And they don't intersect, what are they called everybody? Lines. And what if I have lines that do? Intersect. And I don't know if we're going to come across this, but what if they form right angles? Perpendicular. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular. Okay, let's open to page nine. 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 And how many line segments do you see? You're not sharing right now, so voice you should be at zero. I'll give you a minute or two. I want you to make a few notes. Oh, I forgot to hit. Oh, no, now we're good. Okay, um, raise your hand. How many line segments do you see? And how do you see them? Start us off, Hadley. Um, I see them, or like there's nine of them. Okay. And then I kind of see them all kind of intersecting at like one point, or like touching. Okay, okay. How many do you see, Jace? I see nine. See nine? Kira? I see nine, nine, seven, nine. And a hexagon? A six-sided figure. I don't see the hexagon. Can you come point at it? Well, like it just has six sides. Oh, it's just six sides. It's not a regular hexagon. It's just a six. Because we'd have one, two, three, four, five. I see it. Okay. So it's not a regular hexagon, but maybe just a six-sided figure. So a hexagon. Irregular hexagon. Kate. Um, I see a, I see nine like orange, but I see them like all put together in triangles. In triangles. How many triangles do you see? Four. 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 Okay. Um, how do we determine where line segments start and end? Chase? We determine determine them where the Line starts and where the first intersection is, and then the next one is. So we also call that a point. point. So you look for those points, right? Mm -hmm. So we'd have a line segment right there. Probably have one right here. Another one here. So we say one, two, three. Another one here. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's see how many I see. Seven. I see nine. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, can I say how I see them? Real quick. Okay. How I see it is like a flat house laying down like this way, and it's missing one of those parts. It does look like a flat house, doesn't it? I thought so too. All right. Close your books. Mark it with your pencil. Take a look up here. Raise your hand. What do you notice about these lines? Kaylin. Yeah, yeah. You could kind of turn it sideways and it might look like a teepee. But do you guys see the triangle in there? Sure. Um, what else do you notice about the lines? Madeline. They're intersecting, aren't they? Okay. The three lines form a triangle, right? If I trace it. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Describe the line segments that make up the triangle. Where do they start? Where do they end? All right, Gage. Um, it's not about that, but I saw a right angle. A right angle in it? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, Keston? Um, I just wanted to say 
say one thing I noticed. Um, the diagonal line is touching less dots than the straight one. Oh, that is interesting, like isn't three, it? Four. Yeah. yeah. I wonder, like nine. Okay. wonder why that is. Okay. Hadley? Um, so they, like, start at each, like, point, I guess. Like, they start at, like, each, like, corner. So... Yeah, where do they start? Where do they end? I, I would say they start at a point and they end at a point, right? Um, lines that cross are called intersecting lines. Where else have you heard the word intersect? Delaney. So at an intersection? Yeah. So when we're talking about roads and the roads are crossing, we would call that an intersection. Jace, where else have you heard it? Yeah, that's not what we're talking about. You got to stay with us, okay? Okay. Um, so an intersection, anywhere else? That's all I can think of. Madeline? Just when we're talking about streets, right? Where they intersect. Yeah, I can't think of anywhere. I mean, maybe we'll think of something today. Okay. So today for activity one, three lines on a field of dots intersect or cross, forming a triangle. Can you draw a fourth line so that the four lines form a quadrilateral? Guys, what's a quadrilateral? Um, like a, like a, square that has like four sides. a square is a quadrilateral, and a quadrilateral has four sides. Are only squares quadrilaterals? No. 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 So any shape that has four sides is a quadrilateral. Have you guys heard the word quad? Yeah. yeah. Means four. Okay, so you guys are going to use the drawing to show your reasoning, or you can explain why it cannot be done. Okay, so you're going to work with your partner on that. Number two, here is a copy of the same drawing. Can you draw a fourth line to form a rectangle? And then you're going to discuss your drawings with your group. Check if they agree with your conclusions on both questions. So, here is what I'm thinking. You're going to do numbers one and two with your math partner. When you are done, come back to the carpet and we're going to share. Okay? And we'll discuss as a group. One. Zero. All right, so let's look at number one. So, can you add a fourth line so that it makes a quadrilateral? Gabriella, yes. can you come up here and point? Where would you put it? And then I'll draw it on here. Right there. Okay, so Gabriella says if she goes right there. Yeah. And a quadrilateral is any four-sided figure. Let's see if she's right. So we have one, two, three, four. Is she right? Yep. yep. Raise your hand if you also did that same um, quadrilateral. Is there another spot where you could put a line? And I'm going to erase that one so we can really see. Okay, Gage, come on up. Where would you put a line? Oh, that went crooked. Sometimes it does that. I don't know why. Pretend like that's straight. Okay. So, let's see. So, we have one, two, three, four. That's a quadrilateral, isn't it? Um, one more. All right, Jace, come on up. Where would you put it? Okay. 
So, not on this grid because we would have to extend it, right? But then we wouldn't have our line on this side either. Oh, no, we would. We would have this one, huh? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. I think if this grid had one more row of dots, so I don't know if we're allowed to do that or not, um, but I, yeah, that would be a quadrilateral. So I guess it would depend on if they let us extend it. Okay, let's look at number two. Can you draw a fourth line. This time it doesn't say quadrilateral. It says rectangle. Can you draw a fourth line? Madeline, come on up. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, where would you put it? Okay, so she just said right here, right? Mm -hmm. So we'd have one, two, three, four. So what is a rectangle? Thank you, Madeline. You can sit down. What is a rectangle? Kessie. Wait, so it's just a question. Does it have to be straight on all sides? Mm, what do you mean by straight? Like, see how that line she did is bent? It's like, um, mm. curved. But it does um, Does that mean it's still a rectangle? Yes. Oh, let's think about this. Yes. Let's think about this. Yes. I want to know what a rectangle is. How about what Kessie said? Hadley. A rectangle is basically like a part of a figure. It's basically a square, but it's basically just like extending. Okay. I agree that a rectangle has four sides, kind of like a square. Delaney? It has to have four right angles. Oh, it has to have how many? Four, four right angles. So it has to have four sides. But then it also has to have four 90-degree angles, okay? So if I look at this diagram, I'm going to grab another color. I can see this corner right here. Is that 90 degrees? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Is this one right here? Yep. Is this one right here? Nope. nope. Uh-oh. And is this one? Nope. Yeah. No, you guys, you drew a quadrilateral, which is great, but the question says rectangles. So that one right there does not work. That would not work. Is there another? I'm going to erase this. Is there another place where you could put a line? Yes. You want, who wants to try? I just oh. I want to say something that's also about a rectangle. What's that? Uh, there are two sides that are the same and another two sides that are the same. Yeah, so two parallel sides, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, can anybody draw a fourth line up here? You want to try, Coral? I'm not sure. Come on up and, and point and then I'll draw it. I'm not sure about this. Okay, so um, this line, the one Jace did earlier. Okay, so if we do that, I'm going to grab another color. Is this a right angle right here? Yes. Is this a right angle? Yes. Is this a right angle? No. Is this one? No. So is that a rectangle? No. I like your thinking though. Is it a quadrilateral? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but not not a rectangle. Okay, Gage. You can only draw one line. Yeah, Vivian. Yeah, we can't change the rules. Okay, so um, from here to here, if there's more grid, so if there's here to here, then you can still only draw one line, right? I can only do one line. Yeah. If it said, if it said I could do more, then yeah, I could draw a rectangle, couldn't I? Okay, so guys, here's the thing. Right now, you need to fix your paper. So, the answer would be no, but it says explain why it cannot be done. You need to write a sentence. What would you write for your sentence? Gage, what would you write? 
Um, it can't be done because there is a bent line. Because there is a bent line. Okay, Chase? The reason why it cannot be done is because a rectangle has to have four sides and four right angles. Four right angles. Guys, to get credit on this one, you need to say four right angles. You cannot make, you have nothing written down. You're not done, buddy. You cannot make a rectangle by adding one line because it won't have four right angles. Okay, so write your sentence. For them to form a rectangle, what must be true? Kesson. Four sides and four right angles. Four right angles and, and have, four sides. And they have to, I mean, is a square a rectangle or a rectangle square? No, a square is a rectangle. Right? Yes, yes. A, every square is a rectangle, but is every rectangle a square? No. Mm -hmm. No. Good job. Jace. Um, I remember when Heavy said um, a rectangle is basically a stretched out square. Yeah. Um, but a, a, a square has four sides and four right angles. Right, and they're, and each side is equal, right? Mm -hmm. Vivian. You what? Two sets of parallel lines. Very good. And guys, lines that never intersect, like those on opposite sides of a rectangle, those are parallel lines line. Okay. That was your synthesis. Moving on. Close your book. Mark your spot with your pencil. All right. We are going to draw a line in this field. Field of dots. Sometimes we label lines to help communicate about different parts of a figure. We can call this line A because we labeled it with an A. So if I drew, oh, I turn it off. If I drew a line, I could say it is line A. Okay? This symbol right here means line. Okay. So I think that's what you, they want you to do. Here is another field of dots. Each dot represents a point. And remember, guys, a point is a place, right? Okay. So you are going to start with number one. You're going to draw a line through at least two points. Label it line H. So I guess to label it... I probably would have just put an A right here to label it. I don't know. Draw another line that goes through at least two points and intersects with your first line. Label it G. So every time you draw a line, you're going to be putting the letter over that line so that you'll have lines that are labeled. Can you draw a new line that you think would never intersect H and never intersect G? If so, draw the line. Be prepared to explain or show how you know the lines would never cross. Guys, it says if not, explain or show why it can't be done. Do you need to take the time and write a sentence? Yes. Yes, good job. Here is a trapezoid. Do you think its top and bottom sides are parallel? What about its left and right sides? Explain or show how you know. Four questions? All right, so we have four questions. Here is what I want you to do. I want you to work by yourself first. When you are done, you're going to do as many as you can by yourself. If you get stuck on one, put a little star and go back to it. Once you have done all four questions, you're going to find your math partner and compare answers. After you compare, you come to your floor spot.
Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Head to your seat. All right. So um, let's talk about uh, how did you guys know your lines would never cross? How did you know? Kara. Okay, Gage. I put them away from each other. Away from each other, Coral. I put them in like a like an upside down T, like so, like the T on um. Okay. Okay. Um, Riker, stop. Okay, so when we're talking about parallel lines, did you have them the same distance apart? Like, let me show you what I mean. Did you go like that? No. no. So they're always the same distance apart if they're parallel. Okay. Okay. Um, what did you notice? Oh. Mm -hmm. What did you notice about the distance between the two lines that would eventually cross. So if your lines were going to eventually cross, what did you notice? Gage. It made um uh, oh Kate, not while we're talking. It made what? Well, it's going to make an intersection, isn't it? Like, what did you notice, Madeline? I noticed that when mine touched the Okay, so maybe yours were like perpendicular? Mm -hmm. Did they have four right angles? Then that a plus sign or a cross, that's going to be perpendicular, four right angles. I think that's what they want. What did you notice about the distance between two parallel lines that Mrs. McElroy just told you the answer to? Erin? They'll never cross, but what about the distance? What did you notice about the distance? Guys, stop tossing your pencils. Okay? Nobody's raising their hands. We obviously don't know the answer. Delaney. The distance will always be the same. You get a ticket. Okay? So it's never going to change. If two lines are parallel, they're always the same distance apart. They never change. Okay? Guys, I do want to talk about this trapeza. Trapezoid. Can't say it. Trapezoid. That thing. Yes. Do you think it's top? And its bottom sides are parallel. Yes. Kaylin. Yes. Yes. What about its left and its right? That went a little crooked at the end. But yeah, what about the left and the right? Bella. No. No. Um, I overheard a group was having a really good debate about this. If you keep extending those lines, will they intersect? Yes. 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 Look at this, you guys. Do you see how wide it is up here at the top? Mm -hmm. And how it's a different distance towards the bottom? Mm -hmm. it, the, the distance changed, so it cannot be parallel. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, today we learned about lines that cross, intersecting lines, and lines that never do, parallel lines. Everybody, eyes are up here. Are these two line segments parallel? Yes. 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 Thumbs up if they are, thumbs down if they're not. Thumbs up. Okay, good. Yes, they are parallel. How do we know for sure? Hadley. Um, wait, are you talking about the top one? Yeah. Um, we know because 
like you said earlier, the, if you measured like the length of the them, it would always stay the exact same distance. So it never gets shorter, it never gets wider, it's always the same. Coral. And also like it's would if you kept on drawing them yeah. straighter, uh, they would they would never intersect. So if I extended my lines, they would never ever intersect. Testing. You could test by like uh taking like if that were like if you printed that or something, you could take like a ruler and maybe put it on there and then measure if it's straight or not and then um, see how far you can go without them touching. Yes. Well, I mean, they're never gonna. But. <laughs> um, what about these two? Are these lines parallel? Michael, what do you think? I say no because if you continue it on, since this one's going straight, that one's bented so it'll keep going down and it will hit the other one. So if I extend it, um we'd eventually have an intersecting point. I think a straight line. Oh, it went a little crooked. Okay, Kesten. Oh, no. Okay, they extended them right here, right? Okay, guys, your voices. How might we check to see if these lines are parallel or intersecting? Erin. Um, you can check by extending them out Okay, so we could we could extend them, Hadley. Yeah, could we just measure the length like here versus here? Okay, Jace. Um, if you would, like print each line out uh, and then make it exactly the same, you could put a level on top of them and see if they were level or not. I think you you could. <laughs> I don't think we have a level or any of that. Okay, you're going to look around the classroom and find a pair of parallel lines. Turn and talk to your neighbor. Tell them how you know they are parallel. Go. Okay, this also talks about a word wall. I don't think we have time to do that yet. I've got the paper over here, though. Tomorrow, we're going to update our word wall. We're going to start it. Okay? Oh, You'll yeah. find out tomorrow. We have a piece of paper. I know. Guys. I know too. I'll wait. Thank you. Okay. Today, for your cool down, number one says explain why these lines are not parallel. Guys, I want a sentence here. Okay? Let's take the time and really explain. And number two, you're going to sketch a line parallel to that line, and that is...